made some progress. I'll uh, show you that on the video in just a minute, what I've actually done, but give you an idea, I do have the planking done. For the most part, there'll be some more up in this area. So the next challenge will be to get this back in place and this back in place. So I've got a little more work to do on it. Let me show you how I got this far. In preparing to plank the back of the ship, I ran into a couple of glitches. This was, um, I think, Q5, and it shows that it goes to the rear of the ship, which I could put it there. And then there's a number 5 that's very similar without the cutout that would go here. But they're just not fitting very well and this has a curve to it. Now I cut and made these additional pieces and I like how this is smooth whereas this is flat so I think what I'm going to do is just plank across here and make that smooth and then just not use these flat pieces. I've added additional supports all the way across and that's going to give me a surface to plank across. Okay, I've made these extra pieces in here just to give me a little better foundation but then I decided I want a little bit more backing and instead of double planking it I've got some uh, I think this is walnut laminate so it's got an adhesive on the back that once heated up it'll stick I've cut it to this shape, and what my thought is, I'm going to apply it back here, and then I'll go ahead and plank over the top of it. So that'll give me a solid backing in case there's a little gap or something. So that's my thought right now. Um, I will mention that in hindsight, Another thing I would have done differently, I should have done this back first so that, let me get a piece of, so that when this is in place, the outside hole would go over the top of it. I just think it would look better because I may have to trim this off now. If I, it may, I may still be able to get it to look right because I have a little overlap. But it would have been much easier to do this first, trim it off, then bring this around over the top of it, and then sand that off. So, just another thought, I should have done the back of the ship before all the side planking, in my opinion. I'll use my plank bender, uh, because it heats up, and I will just rub this on here and see if that adhesive will then stick. That has exceeded my expectations. I'm very happy with that. Now I'll be able to plank right up through and all the way to the top. I will start uh, probably here because once I get up in here it'll be half pieces going each side. So I want to have a good straight line across there. Or I could start down here. I've undecided. That's irrelevant. I'll show you when it's done. I was happy enough with how it turned out on the underside then I've gone ahead and also put that veneer coat on the back of those supports and now I will just plank over the top of that I can trim oh, I can't use my can't point very well and this is very easy to trim off I can just use an exacto knife or even a pair of scissors because this veneer as you can see is very soft but I'll plank over the top of that and that'll give me a nice backing and as you can see it it's a fairly nice look so not stained yet but I think it will work out just fine and now that I've taken the back off 
I'll be able to correct that error where I left out some of these supports. So I'll work on that shortly. I think I'm going to try and finish planking all the way around the ship. I've got the new plankings to complete the upper portions of both sides. And then there'll be some planking done in this area also to finish this off all across here. So this is how the planking is going. And if you recall how I put that layer of uh, laminate, that uh, walnut laminate, and then I put the planks right over it, and that has worked out real well. I haven't sanded this yet, but I'll sand those edges. The additional framing in the captain's quarters was a little difficult to find because this is a combination of two of the instruction sheet sheets. This part is G, and that'll be over here. This section over here is J and here's the little sheet and it's just a tiny little letter J right there and um, there were all, there was also another placard with J and that's where I had just two pieces left in that category and they I believe are part of the braces but this being in the captain's quarters is a little more decorative so what I have is, this is J7, those two pieces, this is J4, and actually there's several J pieces there. So here's what it looks like in the instructions that I found. I had to put these numbers on here myself because it was so faint I couldn't see them. Looking through the instructions, I found this drawing, which you probably can't see on camera, but it shows that M8 and M9 are, this would be the floor of the captain's quarters, and these are a little more decorative side panels. So the 9 goes on the side, there's two of them, one on each side. Problem is, where uh, M8 and this is the M sheet. It was not identified very well. That's it. M8 is here, and I have misplaced it. Just a quick update. I did find the back piece. I had it sitting somewhere. So I don't know if you can see very well on that, but that fits inside there. I've got it clamped and drying. Then this will... it right in there to give you a perspective of where that's going. And now that I've taken this all apart, I'll be able to do the framing that was supposed to be done inside here, and I've decided I will add some more lights so that the captain's quarters will be lit up a little bit better. I've pretty much finished the planking, and I've got some sanding to do. So what I'll do next, I'll sand this all down, that little gap in here, so I put some putty. And this is the other side, the side that doesn't have any openings. And what I did is I left just a small crack like you can see here. That's going to be a, a, uh, an opening. So I left a little hole so I wouldn't know where it was, and then I'll take combination of cutting tools to open those ports up and that's what I've started doing here. But I'm going to sand all of this down and then restain it. Still having some problems in this back area and how this piece will go on. I'm still having trouble getting the those framing things that I was talking about just a minute ago to fit in so I may skip those because you're not going to be able to see them anyway. Now that this is all together, I think this is the floor, and I can see now that I have these decorative sidewalls put in, this fits on here rather nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and secure this together, and then for my additional lighting, I'm going to take these flickering LED lights, and I'm going to put one on each side and one right here in the center, and I'm going to just drill the holes and slip those through and I'll try and make them look like lanterns sitting on that ledge.
and I think that'll look pretty neat through the windows. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then maybe I can finally attach this whole unit to the back of the ship. So that's my initial plan. Let me get started on it. First I want to glue this up so it's secure. And if anything I've learned, you just have to jump into this build and you have to look at the instructions because they're not in any specific order and that's what has messed me up but I just keep rolling with it. I have the windows glued in place and because this will be enclosed I put the furniture inside. I had made it earlier. I did cover the top of the table with some a little piece of cherry veneer. I'm not sure if, that, if that's an improvement or not, but that's that area. And these are the pillar candles that I try to make. We'll see what those look like lit up. And then I also realized I need to do the wiring for the lamps that go on the back and these had a little stem that came out from the side that I just broke off. I didn't like that look. It, these are pretty cheap. They're not as good as on some of the more expensive models. And then the other thing I will do is I'll do some paint work on these. They're very plastic looking so I want them to look like maybe copper that's aged or something like that. So I We'll get the third one hooked in there, and then this will go on top. I have the windows in place, and I have the lights in and working. I think you can see the lights are working pretty well. I'll have some planking to do back here. But I like the look. My um, pillar candles look okay. I think you can see the table and the chair in there. The top lights that came with are a little different color. And I don't know if I've messed up the wiring. I don't know what would cause them to flicker. I think when I initially did them, they didn't flicker. But they're all flickering in unison. I don't like that. But I'll live with it. I tried to replace the lights with the, the ones that I have, but I couldn't, they would not fit. So I took one apart, I ended up putting it back together. So when I come back, the next episode, I will have this in place, and I will go ahead and sand and restain, and then I think I'll get to working on some of the intricate things on the stairway and the balcony area up here, I'll call it. Very happy with the lights. Very happy with the back windows and that look. So this piece ultimately will go up here, and I'll do some work on the lights. So this is the latest update on my journey with the Black Pearl. Making progress, but I still have a lot of work to do. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have not subscribed and you're interested in keeping up with this journey, just click that button below and hit subscribe. No cost to you. It'll just let you know. If you choose to, it'll give you a prompt if I've posted a new video. Or it'll make it easier for you to find the videos that I post. Again, thanks for watching.